since we're on the matter of educating, um, let's talk about the Metro Manila Film Festival. I, how should we see this, the, the platform, the tradition, and everything that people associate with, with MMFF? Well, it's, put it this way, from being only a Metro Manila, it's nationwide now. Mm -hmm. But uh, it is also, you know, a time when people get their bonuses, they can afford to go to movies, so mm -hmm. of course they're going to give movies to kids they can bring the kids to. Mm -hmm. and, and everything's valid. All films are valid, you know. But also you have their, in that selection some films that are, are art, you know. Now, how they fare, how they don't fare, at least there's an equal opening for them, pretty much. Is know? it equal? Well, it was. Now, I don't know how, because there's some uh, theaters that will, that's open booking, but at least you get a minimum of 80, something mm -hmm. like that, 80 something or 90 like cinemas or yeah. something Very like that. Very quickly, just makes me curious about the audience, because a lot of people say, na, hindi, pagbigyan niya na yung MMFF and what people watch, because as you alluded to, this is, in a way, a pent up, uh, Spent up uh, spending by a yeah, lot of people. Sure. They can't afford 250 mm -hmm. every week, as you said, yeah, and therefore yeah. Christmas break is the one time they have yeah, both they, time they and money the yeah. with, the, with their family. Mm -hmm. But how accurate is that? What does the market research say about uh, the economic powers uh, and the spending ability of our of the Filipino audience from let's say from from C down to E? Well, let's put it this way. What did the last MMFF gross? Over a billion pesos. Yeah. Mm. Last, year's, yeah. last year. Last year? The combined. Um, wow. All, of all office, films. Of all yeah. the films, yes. Okay. Mm. Which is like one Marvel film here. You yeah. know? Yes. But, but it's there. Uh, the yeah. theaters are also making money, which is good. They have to continue. Mm. But is, what's the demographic of, of that? of the people who pitched into the one billion within one month. Basically, is that CDE? Is that well, you have, I mean, CDE and mainly family movie going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why at least four of the entries are always geared towards like people, people that, they, I mean, who, who can enjoy. Mm -hmm. Like a comedy with yeah. a vice ganda mm -hmm. or uh, a comedy Vic with uh, Tito Vic Joey mm -hmm. or a film with... Uh, uh, Coco Martin, you know, and these are official entries now. Hmm. So you've got those star-driven vehicles that are meant for this audience. If you remember years ago, there was there were the Dolphy movies. So hmm. now there's, I mean, we, we've lost Dolphy and now you've got these new stars. But it's good that they're giving um, options for those who want uh, choices beyond the those obvious commer commercial vehicles. You can go for the kinds of movies that are, again, off the beaten path, you know. Uh, and in the last yeah. four or five years, we've had movies. One was Bonifacio in 2014, it won Best Picture. Mm. Two years ago, we had Sunday Beauty Queen, which was the first mm. documentary, documentary ever, and that also picture. won Best Picture. And now this year, we have Write About Love. And speaking of the, of the beaten path, it's, uh, it's a tribute to screenwriters. Mm. So there are two stories. Uh, you know, uh, being told, and one's about the writers, and the other one's about the characters that they're writing about. 